welcome to our guide on reducing heart damage. From lifestyle tweaks to proactive measures, join us in exploring tips for a healthier heart. Let's dive in and prioritize your cardiovascular well-being. Before we begin, have you taken a moment to consider whether you can anticipate a heart attack? With appropriate nutrition and lifestyle modifications, humans can live past 100 and remain healthier far longer than they do now. However, there's little point in a long life when you're chronically ill and cannot enjoy that life. Predicting a heart attack with absolute certainty is challenging, but there are certain risk factors and warning signs that can indicate an increased likelihood. These include high blood pressure, high cholesterol, smoking, obesity, diabetes, a sedentary lifestyle, family history of heart disease, and age. Nevertheless, the primary factor to consider is the coronary artery calcium measurement, commonly known as the CAC score, which can refer to as the master measure for cardiac disease. As noted by the American College of Cardiology, a CAC scan is one way to estimate someone's risk of developing heart disease or having a heart attack or stroke. The reason for this is that calcium deposits in your arteries signal the buildup of plaque, which over time clogs your arteries. Research has shown that having a CAC score of zero in middle age means you have a very low risk, 1.4%, of heart attack in the following decade. A low score between 1 and 100 raises your risk to 4.1%, an intermediate score between 101 and 400 raises your risk to 15%, and a high score between 400 and 1,000 puts your risk at 26%. Above 1,000, your risk of a heart attack within the next 10 years is 37%. In this context, studies have shown that the cardiovascular disease or CVD risk for seniors with a zero CAC score is nearly identical to that of a 50-year-old with a zero score. Ditto for those with intermediate scores. In other words, while age is typically characterized as the primary risk factor for CVD, the CAC score takes precedence when it comes to identifying your real risk and transcends other risk factors. If you stop the calcification progression, you decrease your risk of CVD, and the earlier you catch it, the better. Ideally, discuss your wishes with your doctor, who can refer you to a facility that performs the scan. Tips to reduce heart damage Your cardiovascular system is complex and influenced by several factors, including nutrition, sleep, exercise, stress and medications. Each of these plays a unique role in supporting or damaging cardiovascular health. Research is continuing to identify factors that influence heart health and ways you can use this information to support and take control of your health. The following are some of those factors that you may manage to help you on your journey to better health. Stress. Emotional stress is highly associated with broken heart syndrome, also called Takotsubo syndrome or TTS. People with TTS describe sudden heart attack-like symptoms, including chest pain and difficulty breathing. In some cases, it may be misdiagnosed as a heart attack, but there are no blocked arteries. Instead, the left ventricle will temporarily enlarge and not pump enough blood, which can lead to severe short-term heart failure. Many make a full recovery within several weeks. Chronic stress may also contribute to heart disease. Consider stress reduction techniques such as yoga, meditation, exercise, and emotional freedom techniques. Omega-3 and vitamin D People with type 2 diabetes who used omega-3 supplements had a lower incidence of hospitalization with heart failure. Vitamin D can impact myocardial dysfunction in patients with congestive heart failure. Coke 10 or ubiquinol Coke 10 is a powerful, fat-soluble antioxidant with anti-inflammatory properties and plays a role in energy production. Coke 10 and ubiquinol are particularly important in the mitochondria helping to prevent the formation of free radicals and reduce the risk of oxidative stress. Vitamin K2 People who ate foods high in vitamin K1 and K2 had a 34% overall reduced risk of any atherosclerosis-related heart disease, which supports past studies that show vitamin K2 is heart protective. Vitamin C Vitamin C is an essential factor in many enzyme reactions and several cohort studies have shown that it's associated with a lower risk of cardiovascular conditions such as stroke, high blood pressure, and coronary heart disease. Magnesium, according to several decades of studies, low magnesium appears to be the greatest predictor of heart disease. Lumbrokinase, lumbrokinase, a complex fibrinolytic enzyme extracted from earthworms, contains a bioactive protein that helps prevent heart-related issues like thrombosis, stroke, and heart disease. 
cranberries, eating cranberries for one month showed improvement in flow-mediated dilation in healthy males. This measures endothelial function and has proven to be an effective prognostic indicator of future heart events. Pomegranates, pomegranates benefits are primarily attributed to their antioxidant activity, which benefits your heart in several ways, including lowering blood pressure, slowing or even reversing the growth of plaque formation in arteries, improving blood flow and keeping arteries from becoming thick and stiff. Nutrient-rich vegetables, nitrates could reduce harmful inflammation in people with coronary heart disease, certain leafy greens have high amounts of nitrates that naturally boost your nitric oxide level. Linoleic acid, this is the most pernicious toxin in the modern diet, which makes up 60% to 80% of omega-6 fats and is the primary contributor to most chronic diseases, including heart disease. Exercise People who exercised between 8 a.m. and 11 a.m. had the lowest risk of coronary heart disease and stroke, and those who exercised in the evening disrupted their circadian rhythm, which is associated with the dysregulation of the cardiovascular system and more. Data also show even weekend warriors had reduced all-cause and cause-specific mortality rates when compared to people who did not get 150 minutes of moderate exercise each week. Resistance exercise, muscle mass and strength are directly related to blood flow resistance and heart health. Aerobic activity does not improve blood flow and vascular conductance, but resistance training does and is a strong predictor of survival. Sauna Sauna bathing can mimic exercise to increase your longevity and health span. Men using Finnish style, dry heat saunas seven times per week cut their risk of death from fatal heart problems in half, compared to those who used it only once a week. Breathing exercise, using slow breathing methods can lower your blood pressure, thereby reducing your risk of related heart attack, stroke, and heart disease. People doing exercises for six weeks had an average reduction of 9 mm of mercury in systolic blood pressure. The daily training consists of 30 breaths a day. Sleep, a lack of quality sleep may be associated with nearly every heart-related death, and also may be associated with heart failure, stroke, diabetes, and worsening obesity. Data suggests that higher-intensity physical activity is not enough to mitigate the rapid cognitive decline that is associated with insufficient sleep. NSAIDs, commonly prescribed to treat pain, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs or NSAIDs are linked to an increased risk of heart failure in people with type 2 diabetes. To further deepen your knowledge of health and well-being be sure to check out our other videos for more insights on leading a healthy lifestyle. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more valuable content. Until next time, take care and stay heart healthy.